So welcome to the lecture on application of MATLAB in automatic control. In this lecture, we will discuss about design, via root locus and compensation techniques. So uh, we will more specifically, we will discuss about lead compensators. So we have already discussed about the lead compensators. So lead compensators are equivalent passive systems for the PD controllers. So in PD controller, we put uh, 0 at desired location to obtain the desired poles locations. In case of lead compensations, we put a desired 0. So we put a 0 at desired location and then we put the another pole, compensator pole at some locations to satisfy the condition of angle so that the root locus passes through the dominant or desired pole points. So here we have one problem and that we will discuss uh, on uh, as the uh, theory, we will discuss the theory and then we will discuss the MATLAB codes. So this problem is taken from the Norman S. Nice control systems engineering. So the problem is that we have to design the lead compensator for the system shown below that will reduce the settling time by a factor of 2 while maintaining 30 percent overshoot. So this is the system and uh, so we can have this system we can have the input Rs and this is K by S. S plus 4, S plus 6, and we have unity feedback system. Yes. So, here we have G S equal to 1 by S, S plus 4, S plus 6 and H is equal to 1 unity feedback. So, first we have to find this 30 percent overshoot. So, if we convert this to damping with the formula, so we find this damping equal to 0 0.358 so we can calculate the damping as we discussed in the previous lecture and then the settling time that is that is uh, we can calculate so to get the settling time first we have to make the root locus so here sigma, this is j omega. So we have to plot this line and this is, this line is we are getting so we can get this line that is zeta equal to 0 0.358 and this angle is 110.98 degree and this angle is 180 minus this angle. So now we have to plot the root locus. So root locus here we have s equal to 0 minus 4 and then minus 6. So here the root locus will start and this will go to infinite. 
So, here they will separate and they will cut this line at some point, let us say point A. So, this point A is minus 1.007 plus J 2.627, 2.627. So, this is the point A and at k equal to 63.21. So, because we want to maintain the 30 percent overshoot, so this we have to the operating point is point A because this point is on the 30 percent overshoot line. And so, the settling time for this point T s we can compute the T s. So, here T s is 4 upon mod sigma d. So, 4 upon here 1.007 and we can get 3.972 is the settling time. Now, we have to maintain the settling time T s dash, we have to reduce by factor of 2. So, T s by 2, so that is 3.972 by 2. So, 1.986, so this is the. So, we want to get the, for this settling time, we need some reduce settling time. So, we need some other points, pole points because the root locus should pass through this point and so the is new pole point is real part is minus 4 upon T s dash that is 1.986 and we are getting this as minus 2.014, 2.014. So, this is the real part of the new pole and we can get the imaginary part omega d. So, minus 2.014 sigma d into tan this angle. So, this angle or we can get So, we are going to get it 5.252. So, this is the omega d. So, the desired pole is and we can also get here omega n from here because we know zeta omega n is 2.014 and zeta is 0.358. We can get also omega n and omega n is 5.626. So, now the desired pole is minus 2.014 plus 5.252 j. So, this is the desired pole. Now, in the lead compensator, we are going to put first a 0. So, we assume some location of some 0 and then we put the compensator pole to, comp to satisfy the angle condition. So, let us we put a 0 at minus 5. So, we put sigma equal to minus 5. A 0 here between these points. So, let us we put here at minus 5 a compensator 0 and we calculate the angle. So, we our desired point is here because at this point let us say this is our point B and that is minus 2.014 plus 5 point 252 j this is the desired point 
and we compute the angle of this point with respect to all these so this angle so the angle made by desired pole whether uh, so here the poles angle are added and zero angle um, sorry poles angle are subtracted and are in negative sign and zero angle are positive sign so when we put the pole at sigma equal to minus 5 and we find the sum of angles so sum of angles we obtain equal to minus 172 0.69 degrees so when we are getting this angle 172.69 degree now we have to add a pole so that it will complete this degree to minus 180 degree so we have how much angle we have to add by the pole is so that is 7.31 degree so this is like minus 180 minus minus 172.69 degree so that is equal to so this is the angle because a pole will add a negative angle so this is the angle that would be made by the add by the pole so let's say this is the condition so we have sigma j omega and we have this is our point b and this is 5.252 j and this is minus 2.014 and we are going to add some smaller angle so our pole should be very far here so that it is going to add so this is minus pc and this is 7.31 degree so this angle and so we know that if we use this tan 7.31 degree that is equal to this part that is 5.252 the imaginary part by this difference that is we say PC minus 2.014 and this will give us PC and we get 42.9 this PC we are getting 42.96 so PC is here so now if so if we put this pole PC here the root locus will change now so if we have now this root locus and now our system is changed and the system is now first here a 0 that is s plus 5 and here is another pole that is s plus 42.96 so now this is our system that add a 0 and a pole here so we have a damping line zeta equal to 0.358 so this is zeta line now we have the poles so first is s equal to 0 minus 4 minus 6 so minus 4 minus 6 and this is 0 then we have compensator 
zero that is here minus five and compensator pole here minus forty two point nine six so compensator zero and compensator pole and this is the original systems poles now we have to make this root locus and we have already our point b that should be satisfied so here this root locus will pass so these root locus will start here and they will separate break away this will start and ends to this pole and this will go to infinity and this will go to so here will be the this will end here so the root locus branch will be odd uh, left of the odd poles so here in this section then this section and then this section so here it will start from here it will separate this will start and end to this zero this will start and go to infinity so now these will pass through the point be here so this is all uh, this design of the lead compensator now we will see how in the code so now let's understand so this is the uncompensated system with numerator 1 and denominator of polynomials with roots 0 minus 4 and minus 6 then we get the transfer function by numerator and denominator then the percent overshoot we input so we ask to input the percent overshoot so here we will input 30 percent overshoot then we will cal calculate here the damping then we will plot the root locus so this original root locus without this compensator points and uh, then here we will plot a line that is damping line so this line damping line then we will select here we will our low loc find is find on the root locus some point so we will select this point a on the screen the graphical mode and we select that point A and we store the gain value and the poles. So there will be three poles for that gain because there are three starting poles or open loop poles. So this pole we will get this pole also minus 1.007 plus J2.627. So once we select that pole, give the pole number that is operating point. So we will give that pole and for that operating pole we will calculate the gain so gain we already uh, obtain k then we calculate the estimated settling time of for this system so we will calculate this ts for this point a so 4 upon so this formula 4 upon real part of the pole and then peak time then percent overshoot we already entered damping we calculated then we find this natural frequency of the uncompensated system then this static error constant and steady state error then we get uh, this is our closed loop transfer function with feedback of unity and k into g we can see the step response for this system then we go for the lead compensation because we will here press the key to for lead compensation 
so we find input uh, uh, we input the settling time so here type desired settling time so we can either put the settling time what we calculated or we just put estimated settling time by 2 because we want to make it half so we put the desired settling time then we put the type lead compensator 0 so we have to select the position of the compensator 0 as we selected here at minus 5 so we have to enter this 5 because here it is given that s plus b and so we just enter b so we have to enter plus 5 then we have a variable done that is equal to 1. Now we have to enter a lead compensator pole. So we have to this while loop when we enter in this while loop we are trying to find the value of compensator pole that will pass through this point B. So that will make this to pass through point B. So here what we are doing, we are numerator, we are doing the con convolution or multiplication with the original function system with the compensator 0 that is 1 B is the compensator 0. Then denominator we are multiplying the original uh, this denominator with the compensator pole that is A we are entering here so 1a is s plus a and here 1b is s plus b so we are multiplying so we are changing the system to this system s plus a and s plus b and we are trying with b once we get the equivalent transfer uh, this uh, this transfer function with this compensated poles and zero then we again calculate this natural frequency and we plot the root locus for this change system and we see that whether s grid line z omega n so it is passing through this compensator uh, this uh, overshoot or damping line the point where it will cut is the point p and we see that we are getting this the proper point on the of the, whether the root locus is cutting this point for this omega n. Once we are done with the point we say 0 and we will come out of this otherwise if we put 1 we will be trying this and here kp equal to r log find once we are we have we have finalized the compensator poles and zeros we will command this to select that point B and we will find the gain of this for this point and the poles. So once we are, so this is our compensator 0 and poles and this is original system G and we multiply with compensator and we are getting this poles so give the pole number that is operating point so we have to enter the point B here and so operating point is P and the pole number F and then we calculate other parameters like settling time peak time for this and the steady state error then we plot this T equal to feedback k into g now our transfer function is compensated one that is g k into g and feedback one now we find the step response of this and we compare this step response with the step response of the uncompensated system t u that we defined here t u So here we can run this command. So 
So we can see here that it is asking type the desired percent over suit. So we enter 30 percent because in the problem there is 30 percent over suit. We entered. So we are getting the root locus. So you can see here the same root locus that we enter uh, we described earlier. So poles at 0 at minus 4 at minus 6 and this is the root locus and entering uh, intersecting this line of 0.358 damping line. So we select this point because this point of the root locus is on the this damping line. So we select this pole. So we selected these poles and we can see here we got this p equal to this. So these are the three poles we got. So here the imaginary pole minus 0.98 plus 2.67. So here we are getting the value of minus 1 plus j 2.6. Here we are getting minus 0.99 plus 2.67. So there is a little deviation due to the selection on the graphics mode. So here give pole number that is operating point. So this is the pole number 2 because it is minus 0.99 plus 2.6 i. So this point A. So we give the point this is at the number 2. So give 2 and enter. So we get the already we got this uncompensated system with already we got the gain k and this system uncompensated system. So this is S cube. So this is the original system has the third order because there are two three S terms. So S cube and in the denominator we only have k and value of k is here 65.28. So at k equal to 65.28 we are getting this uncompensated system that will pass through this that will give this 30 percent overshoot. Now press any key to go to lead compensation. So we press some key let us enter. So type desired settling time. So settling time we want to make half. So we uh, want to give EST by 2 because EST was the variable we computed the settling time of the original system. So EST by 2 we give. Now it is asking type desired settling time we enter type lead compensator 0. So lead compensator 0 we assume at minus 5. So here it is in terms of uh, this s plus b and so b is 5 then only s plus b equal to 0 so s equal to minus 5 so b we have to enter 5 we enter now enter a test lead compensator pole so now we have to test for the lead compensator pole so the value of a we have to enter so here we used a different uh, 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 methodology here we are testing because we can see here easily graphically whether this point is cutting this damping line or not. So we let's put a equal to so 42 point 8. So because we know that we are about 42.96 so we enter. So we can see now here we are getting this here but there is still there is some deviation here little deviation we can see here so this point is little bit away from this so it should shift to this side so we have let's try 42.9 so first we have to put 1 so that we are not done 
and it will go again in the while loop so one and now we again put a equal to 42.9 so we can again check so here we are more close to this point so we are more we are entering uh, cutting this point at z line and this uh, z uh, this curve so we are we can say okay this is our pole compensator pole location and we put zero so we will come out so once we come out we are getting the root locus so we have obtained this root locus and because uh, the we have here at 0 at minus 4 minus 6 there is compensator 0 here and these three poles and one pole here this scale is still minus 10 so it is beyond that so we select uh, this point on the root locus and we selected this point so you see we are getting this minus 2 plus 5.16 here we obtain the point b as minus 2 plus 5.25 so there is little deviation due to the selection on graphics mode so here the pole is second pole minus 2 plus 5.16 so second pole here entered so we are getting the here this transfer function you can see here we have a zero here and now it is power four so we have already one compensated pole here so this is now uh, order of four now press any key to continue and obtain the lead compensated step so step response we can see of the compensated system so this is the lead compensated systems response for the step input now we want uh, to we want the step response of uncompensated system so that we can compare so i put let's say enter so we are going to get the step response of so you can see here the red one is uncompensated systems response and the blue one is lead compensated systems response so we are here we are getting a peak earlier than the uncompensated and so the this settling time also we are getting reduced here for this compensated system so here we saw how to design a lead compensator and how we can use in MATLAB so here we use the some graphical selection we can also use some other uh, MATLAB functions we can write different codes so that we can get exact point that we calculated here so I stop here and I thank you for attending this lecture thank you